thousands of families have been forced from their homes in California. The town of paradise is, for the most part, lost. Heavenly Father, please help us. Please help us to be safe. I was shocked that the paradise was on fire. At least one meeting house has burned to the ground. Several hundred structures have already been destroyed. It's a bad situation out there right now. 27,000 people are under mandatory evacuation. Here's our kitchen sink and the spoon and the bowl from breakfast morning of November 8th. There's the food dehydrator. There's the base of a crock pot. I don't know why you look for things like that, but somehow it's validating. I had a life. We have no plans for the future. We're kind of in limbo, not knowing where to look for a home. It's so ugly. <laughs> it's just, it used to be beautiful. It used to be paradise. We know that in order to feel better, that if we serve others, we're going to feel more peace for ourselves. I want to help, and I think that was all of our thoughts. Just jump in and drop everything and start helping and supporting and doing. I just went and just worked shoulder to shoulder with all kinds of people who were charitable. Everything we had, we opened up to the community. Many days were spent at the Sink Center helping them get the resources they needed. People were driving in trucks full of clothes and bedding and food. There was no one religion only or one walk of life. It's interesting that the people who've lost the most gave the most. They're still giving. I have seen so much good and so much outreach with perfect strangers, and that truly has restored my faith in humanity. The trees will brighten up again, the flowers will start to come out. That's the beauty from the ashes, is that these people, they love one another, they care about each other. I know this place will be beautiful again. People are really living as Christ would live. It's one of the most amazing stories of ministering in a higher and holier way that I've ever seen.